Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here. Hope you guys are doing well. Super excited about doing this webinar for you guys today. We're going to keep it short and sweet, maybe 10 or 15 minutes here. But today we're going to be talking about all things websites. Now joined with us is none other than Adam Fullerton with Branded Bull. Adam, how are you doing today? Doing very well. Thank you very much. Appreciate you having me on. Yeah, absolutely, man. Well, long story short, a lot of you guys know Adam. He's actually been on quite a few podcasts. He has been uh, actually speaking at Launchpreneur Academy Live last November. They've got a ton of great things going on with Branded Bull. Now, if you guys don't know, Adam's actually my younger brother, but that being said, he is doing so much with marketing, building websites, and their ad agency. So Adam, really quickly, we want you guys to be a resource for the community, for people that are out there looking for graphics designs, websites, logos, and so much more. So let's keep it short and sweet today. We're talking about 10, 15 minutes uh, with this topic, but give them your guys' background with uh, Branded Bull. Where did everything come from and uh, what are you guys doing today? Yeah, absolutely. So Lauren Teal and I, we are Branded Bull. And so we are all about helping small businesses look awesome and grow. That's kind of our tagline. Um, and as this says behind me, uh, it says big branding built for small businesses. So between Lauren and I, we have over 30 years of combined experience helping larger brands thrive and grow from a marketing and advertising perspective. So we now we have a passion for small businesses and we opened up the small business of ourselves to take that experience helping those big businesses and translate that to help small businesses. Because we know a lot of small businesses have no clue how to do a website. They have no clue what it means to be on Google. They have no clue what it means to have a professional logo and the impacts that these different things have on their business and ultimately how to grow it so they can get more customers, make more money and grow it. Amen to that. Well, let's do this really quick. Uh, for anybody who's watching on YouTube, they might not have been able to keep up with the freight train that is Branded Bull. You guys are blowing up like crazy. And by the way, if you guys are watching on YouTube, we have our podcast that comes out three days a week. We have our annual live event in November. We've got the podcast, like I said, comes out uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, an email newsletter that comes out three times a week. And if you guys aren't on those ecosystems, you might not have seen Branded Bull just yet. And the reason is because I didn't want to just uh, also add YouTube to the mix because there's a whole nother audience here and we don't want to bury these guys with traffic and leads for building new websites and graphics design. In fact, we already kind of have, and so we've been kind of sandbagging doing a uh, YouTube webinar to help you guys out there that might want a website. So Adam, really quick, what's the reception been like since, what would you say, maybe like late October timeframe? Yeah, it's been crazy. Very, very, very busy. And so we're thankful for, for to you for that. Uh, it has been amazing to see the reception and the positivity. And now, I mean, you can go on and we advocate for customers of ours to do this on their own Google listing and on their own website, but you can go check ours out and you can see all the five-star reviews that we're getting. And it's just a reflection of the work that we're doing and the fact that we are here to, again, help small businesses with the website and so that they can say, Hey, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I spend too much time on it. I just want it done. I want to get more customers. I want to look, I want to have it look great. And we just take care of it for you. That's what we offer. So again, check us out as well. And you just see the reception, like I said, has been nothing but positive. And we have so many more customers in the queue that it has truly been crazy. It's been a crazy yeah. time and it's, it's been amazing though. I will tell you that. How many people have uh, signed up with you guys since we started debuting you guys, uh, basically since LAL really forward. Uh, we have definitely crossed the 30, 40 customer threshold. Uh, <laughs> and that doesn't include you know, the numerous number of people that have reached out or are in the process of you know, talking about a website or logo or things like that. So um, to say the least, it's been extremely busy. So for, yeah, you could say that. And by the way, uh, you guys just had your first uh, newborn baby, a daughter. Uh, what was it like November 16th or 17th? 15th. Or 15th. 15th. Yeah. So basically the day after, two days after LAL or whatever, uh, when Sarah was there, which is my sister-in-law, you, uh, she was, you know, you don't want to ever say this about a pregnant woman. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you know? And, uh, so long story short, new baby, uh, taking the company full time, you and your partner. And really this stemmed from, I needed a new website. So if you guys are following along here, we're talking about building websites. And if you have a website, taking it to the next level. Now they do graphic design work, logo creation, so much more. So if you guys need any of the above, I want these guys to be your marketing and ad agency to be. Now, that being said, before they even launched, uh, Adam had said, Hey, I'm working on something big. I'm working on something big. And you know, as big brother, little brother dynamics, I'm just talking trash. And he's like, dude, I'm doing something. I'm like, all right, cool. Cause you wanted to get out of corporate America. 
And so I didn't say, hey, if you build websites, you'll get rich. It wasn't anything like that. But when you came out in October, it was probably about mid-October, you said, hey, um, here's what I'm working on. You showed me everything, brandedboldinc.com. Uh, and I said, dude, this is what you're doing. You said, yeah. And I said, well, I'm looking to grow my web presence. Now, as somebody who hasn't had a website for, gosh, three or four or five years at least, and then I had one for about two years, and actually subsequently turned it off because I was getting calls all over the place. I didn't, I didn't want any more work. In the first decade, I didn't have a business because, or uh, I didn't have a uh, website because I was like on Angie's List and Google My Business, and it was all over the place, right? And so anyway, mm -hmm. I said, you know, if you're building websites, I'd actually be interested in buying a website. I paid full retail. You didn't give me the friends and family rate. What the heck, Adam? You know, by the way. Um, but I said, I want to pay you retail. You didn't use code Brian's ten. <laughs> there, there was no Brian said. I didn't. I, I, did, I did a branded bull ten. You know, back in the day. Um, but which Brian's ten, by the way, we'll get to that. But you guys can save some money with these guys. So, so funny story. I bought my own website. I wanted to get more. I wanted to reposition my company as a site management company and get more commercial work. Right. I wanted to get more commercial accounts. I wanted to get more commercial snow specifically. And we have. We went from eight commercial accounts last year to 16 or 17 this year. And I owe that 100% to our website and my Google, uh, my business listing and the uh, SEO that you guys have helped us to uh, become and make more robust. So before you guys uh, you know, go down the rabbit hole, I want you to think about this. If you're trying to get new customers, if you're trying to grow your business, if you're trying to improve your web presence, I know it sounds simple, but in 2023, uh, have you evaluated a website or updated your website in the last handful of years. So Adam, I'm going to kick it back over to you if you want to talk about for a minute or two, numbers, stats, figures, whatever. But you impressed me with everything you guys were building. I said I wanted a website. I wanted to take my uh, web presence to the next level. And then you, this is your expertise. This is your background. So I said, hey, take it away. So what what, what are you seeing out there in the marketplace? Why, why a website? Are re websites still relevant in 2023? So on and so forth. You know, it's all great information, great points. I think the biggest thing to realize is that it's 2023. And our question typically to every customer we work with is this, what's the first thing you do when you're trying to find a local business to do something or find a product online? What do you do? You go to Google and then you go to their website. That's the one, two punch. And if you're not on Google and you don't have a website, well, then you're just completely missing out on potential customers left and right. And so a couple of quick mm -hmm. stats to throw out there. I love statistics because it just proves what, you know, the point you're trying to get across. A couple of things here. One, over 45% of Google searches are for local businesses. So it's, you know, people think, oh, you know, Apple and these giant companies get all the search results. Actually, it's almost 50% of people are looking for local businesses, which is your business, especially as a lawn care landscape type of uh, you know organization. If you're not listed on Google again, how do those people find you? They just sure. can't. They sure. can, you're not you're not on the internet essentially. After that, almost 70 to 80 percent of people research a company online before doing business with them, which means if you don't have a website, they can't find more information about you. And yes, yeah, some people, you might have a Facebook page or you might have a Google business page. I get it. But ultimately what we're trying to do with the website is bring all that information into one centralized location so that people aren't getting pieces here, pieces there and getting mixed results in terms of what they're looking for. You now have the power to say, here's everything a person needs to know about you and your business, your services, pricing, pictures, reviews, et cetera right in one centralized location, making it super duper easy for them to get what they're looking for and for you to get them from point A to point B, which is who we are, come work with us. The yeah. last stat I want to share is almost 60% of traffic nowadays on the internet is done through mobile, which means if you have a website, and that's awesome, but a lot of the websites in your industry especially, they look like they're built in 1997. So they're not optimized for mobile. And if they are, they look really uh, outdated, let's call it. So here's one more statistic that says, if you don't have a website that looks great, performs very well, has SEO built into it, and it's not optimized for someone on their phone, it's the first thing we do, Google website, and then we're on our phone doing all of that. And so if it's sure. not built for mobile, you're also missing out. So those are three powerful statistics. And there's a ton more that we like to go through and just say, this is why. You have to be doing this in this day and age and why you have to have a website. 
There's no question about it anymore. 2023, we all go to Google. We all go to websites before we do any sort of business. Yeah, I mean, that's the, a solid information. And I, you can't reiterate this big enough or, or loud enough, right? We can't scream it from the top of our lungs any more than we can or should, right? Like you have to be on the web. You have to have a website. And uh, one other thing I heard was like 86% of all statistics are made up on the spot or something like that. So um <laughs> At least, that's, at least fifty percent. That's that's an oldie but a goodie. Some of you guys have heard that one before. Just having some fun. But the the, the long story short is, if you guys are out there, you're, we're going into the spring rush. A lot of you guys are looking to grow your company, and we're going to spend tens of thousands of dollars on mowers and trucks and vehicles and equipment and labor and all this stuff. I always tell people like, hey, let's not forget about the low hanging fruit. Let's not forget about the simple stuff, the easy stuff. What generates the buying of that equipment? It's sales. It's web presence, it's marketing, right? It's getting the customer yep. to pick up the phone. Or I think more specifically, you said at uh, branded or not branded, but uh, Launchpreneur Academy, you said getting somebody to actually click submit on the submission form to reach out to make an inquiry, right? Because we want to have people simply be able to reach out to us via phone or text, simply reach out to us via email, and then also with that submission form on the website. And at the end of the day, if your website, which is a funnel to capture that lead, if it's if we're if you have an outdated website and then people are spinning off that website because it's not optimized or it doesn't look right or it doesn't flow, right? I remember you saying on one of our podcasts, like these are all bottlenecks that other people designing websites, they they just don't understand. They think features and benefits and cool videos and all the and uh, endless home pages and seventeen different home screens, like it doesn't need to be like that. Uh, any thoughts that you want to add on that? Absolutely, there's time and place, and if you go on our website, you'll see we actually offer three different packages because. It doesn't mean, depending on the size of your business and what you're trying to accomplish, and of course your budget at the end of the day, the great thing is that we actually offer affordable pricing and we have heard horror story after horror story where people charge, I mean, legitimately 10 times more than we charge. And I it just, I don't get it anymore. It's just, in my opinion, an archaic system where people have been able to gouge people for too long for something that is now just a mainstay, a website. Again, everybody should have one. It's like, Hey, are you on Facebook? No, everybody is on Facebook. You have to be, you just have to be. And I don't want to say that, you know, you actually have to have a profile, but in this day and age, when you're looking for customers, you're trying to, the analogy we like to use is if you're trying to win the lottery, which is trying to get that customer to reach out to you and do business with you, well, then you have to buy a ticket. And the only way you can ever buy a ticket is if you're listed on Google and then have a website so that when they go and search online and say lawn care near me or whatever term they use, you're there and you're ranked one of the first two, three or four so that the person says, oh, who's this? Let me reach out to this company. Because if you're not listed, guess what? You're not found. No yeah. one's going to the phone book anymore. And the only other way, I mean, yes, business cards, lawn signs, uh, flyers, you should be doing those things for sure. But everybody's online and those are all offline tactics. So yep. we all, again, go on Google, try to find somebody. And if you're not listed with any of that, you just can't win the lottery. You can't get the customer. And then you're not going to be able to grow your business as far as I'm concerned. Amen to that. Well, here's what we're going to do real quick. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to just kind of get you on for today. Uh, we'll definitely have you on. And maybe we can talk more brass tacks, X's and O's. We can, you know, we're yep. going to try to do uh, more reoccurring webinars on Wednesdays and just pour into you guys. Just literally X's and O's. It's not, hey, here's the new mower or try to sell or convince you guys on anything you don't need or want. It's it's nothing like that. We want to be a value add to you guys. Uh, today, we got Adam with Branded Bull. Uh, one thing I'll tell you guys is, is in all sincerity, if you're looking for a website, these are your guys. There's a lot of people out there that are offering a lot of things. Um, I've heard good. I've heard bad. I've heard ugly. I will tell you uh, without name and names or this or that. I'm just telling you, Adam is the way to go. There's a lot of people offering a lot of stuff right now. I'm not convinced on a lot of the stuff people are putting out there. I don't have trust in it. I don't have confidence in it um, between the people or the product, just to be honest with you. And I can say that without putting them down further to be able to put him up higher. I, Adam's work speaks for himself. There is no comparison. And frankly, we have enough money to be able to go through whoever we wanted to. I saw what he was putting together. I paid the retail price. I said, number one, you're crazy for offering it at this price. Um, I think that introductory offer lasted about three to four weeks because then the yep. pipeline opened up. <laughs> and so uh, really quick, elephant in the room. Where are we at on some of the different prices? I know you guys can go full blown custom, but what's what was it called? Uh, pay to play. What what where are we at just to to get things rolling? 
Yeah, absolutely. It's a great question. So the first package that we have, we'll just call them tier one, tier two, tier three for now. Tier one is 2,500 bucks. Tier two is 4,500 bucks. Tier three is 6,500 and up, which is that custom build. And cool. for most people in your business, we're talking between tier one and tier two. And here's the thing. Every single person that reaches out to us, we just give you the information so that you can make the best decision possible. So if there's a question, what is SEO? How do I get more people to my website? Why is it built in a certain way? Ask us the question and we'll give you the answer so that you know exactly what we're doing and why we're doing it. And you can determine if this is worth it for you and your business or not. That's what we Amen. offer. Yeah, you guys are in a hard sell, nothing like that. Um, and, and by the way, like you said earlier, there's been a hundred plus people reaching out, um, quite a few in the queue in the, in the hopper, of course, 40 plus have already signed on and are committed. So you guys are very, very busy. So here's my, here's the only salesy thing I'll say in this whole webinar. If you're looking for a website, <laughs> get, get in the queue now. And, and Adam probably won't say that because it, he doesn't want to sell, but I will tell you, if you want to get a website in the next 30, 60, 90 days and get this thing moving, uh, we've been talking about this from October on the podcast and in November at the live event. And I just didn't want to bombard them with YouTube, the, the email newsletter, the podcast, the live <laughs> event. They've had an overwhelming response. But that being said, we're now coming to you guys at YouTube. Not that things are slowing down at all. I just said, hey, I want to do some webinars. Let's talk marketing. Adam's like, sure. He's like, are we going to get more calls from this? I said, probably. He goes, <laughs> so. <laughs> and that's that okay. That's that being okay. said, yeah, so it's all good. And Go ahead. Last thing I'll say too is that um, we actually talked with someone the other day and they said, hey, is now the right time to even have a website because it's already getting close to that springtime? And we say, hey, better late than never because it's not about what we get done in the next you know, two, one to two months. You got to realize that this is a long-term play too. Having a website is not just a get it up and then like, okay, you're good. Like this is going to pay dividends for years to come. Right. And the other thing I'll say is that the prices I listed is everything out the door. No other hidden costs or fees. We're not that type of business. We're going to nickel and dime you. That's out the door pricing. And then cool. Brian's 10, if you want to mention anything about that, I'll let that, let that, let you do that. What, what, what does the Brighton 10 get these guys? I don't even know. <laughs> you get, you get a hundred dollars off any of those prices. Okay, cool. Just mention I, Brian's name. I, I, I try to keep up with things, but at the end of the day, it's just go, go, go. So I'm glad that you reminded me. Um, and by the way, if you guys want to, one thing I'll do is I'll try to do a little uh, screen share here and uh, put this overlay afterwards. But if you guys want to see our website, go to brianslm.com. It's very straightforward, very simple. Uh, I actually went with an even more minimalist design from package one. Adam's like, well, we can do this and this. Um, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. But I said, I, I actually want even less. I want one page. He's like, just one page. He goes, that's, well, you know, we can do this and this and this. You get more. And I said, I just want one page, one hero page, one landing page, one submission form page. Uh, I actually modeled mine off of some of the guys out there in the industry that you guys all know, Troy Clogg, uh, Perfect Cut, a couple of the other big seven, eight, nine, ten figure companies out there. And I just said, I wanted to pick apart the, the best of what these guys have and put myself in a position to look like a site management company, to look next level, to be a, a firm that can take care of your commercial and snow, uh, snow it's all outfit, um, to, to grow our presence out there in the industry. We're still growing and we have the most opportunity to grow for my company in the snow and ice uh, side of things, right? That's the biggest um, upside, the bandwidth and one of the more profitable sectors of our company anyway. So that's why I went all in with a website. I encourage you guys to check it out. One of the number one questions I get is, hey, Brian, how do I get new customers? And it's always yard signs, postcards, Google My Business listing, and of course, a good quality website. And so if you guys have been out there looking for somebody to go with, I'm telling you somebody that you guys can trust, somebody that's got your back, somebody that's excited, they're passionate, they're hungry for it. That would be Adam and his uh, co-partner, uh, co-founder, uh, Lauren Teal. They can help you out big time. And by the way, one other quick thing I will say, is if you guys need to do a consultation with them, which is totally free, they are available. I think that's something that I wanted to cover because I, out of all the conversations and feedback and ratings and reviews that I've seen that you share, because we're in a group chat and you're really excited about all this, of course, is people are saying, hey, they were available at 9 a.m., 9 p.m., 5 p.m., 2 o'clock on a Sunday, right? Like you guys are out there in the field 7 to 7 every day. We get it. They get it. So these guys have yep. been uh, more than, what would you say, willing to make themselves available nights and weekends for you guys as well, which I think is pretty awesome. We're, we're people helping people. We're small business helping small businesses. We understand that not everybody is available between nine to five. So it means it's nine o'clock at night. We're available. We'll figure out a good time to meet and get you the answers that you want so that you Amen can make that. the right decision at the end of the day.
Yeah. And you know what? Most of my uh, business building stuff always happens after about 8, 9 p.m. anyway, when my little <laughs> baby girl goes to sleep. And that's just the reality of being a small business owner, man. It is what it is. Yep. We're all out in the field slinging mulch, mowing grass, uh, cutting the grass, making that cash, as my friend Paul says. And so uh, in which way, guys, not a hard pitch here, just a, a quick opportunity. If you guys want to work with Brandon Bull, fantastic. If you don't, absolutely no big deal. But I'm telling you, I think you guys will be very impressed with uh, the product that they have to offer. So uh, Adam, really quick, where can they uh, follow with you guys, maybe on Instagram? or website or reach out to you? Do you have a number or a website? Yeah, just go to our website, brandedbullinc.com. You can see everything on there from what we do in terms of what we offer, who we work with, the different uh, examples of sites that we have, and they're not even all on there. And so if you do reach out, we can send you a bunch more just to show you exactly what we're capable of doing. So again, check that out, brandedbullinc.com. We're also brandedbull on Instagram. So uh, follow us there. We do just share tidbits in terms of statistics and and. Uh, you know, when new launches of different websites are are coming out so you guys can see the different examples there as well. So we're just trying to give away information so you guys can, again, make the best decision for you and your business. Cool. All right, man. Well, that's what I got for you guys. Uh, today's webinar, short and sweet. We'll have more uh, as, as we come down the pike uh, and into the future. Uh, I'm hoping to get Cycle CPA on, Postcard Mania. We had uh, uh, the Million Dollar Landscaping Podcast. So many more. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, uh, forget to hit a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this. Something a little bit different here, but you know, you know, know, on our channel, we try to teach you guys how to grow a more successful lawn care business. And in 2023, it's real, authentic lawn care. None of this stuff is theory. It's never been on our channel. It never will be. We're here to give you guys the exercise knows to help you grow your business. Our company grew over six figures in revenue last year. One of the reasons, just one of the reasons was because we had a great quality website. Okay. So that's what I want to do for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. That's all I got. And we'll catch up with you guys here on the next one.